my god. I am exhausted. Right, I had my coat on and I had four bags. I couldn't really take my coat off. And I'm really, really hot, so I've just arrived in my Airbnb. And I'm literally gonna go straight back out and find some water and food. I'm really hungry. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go out, grab some water on the way, get my accreditation, get my COVID test from the test hub, come back and go grocery shopping on the way back. Does that sound all right? Yeah. Let's go and get our accreditation. So it's been a bit of time because it started literally thunderstorming and raining and so I stayed and I did some work. But now I have just arrived. That's the venue. Oh my gosh. Okay, got my accreditation now. We get tested. Failed my breathing test, but I passed my swab test. We're all good, kids. That is an honor. Hi, guys. I just want you to really, truly, deeply understand how exhausted I am right now. I'm so hungry and sweaty. For some reason, my brain thought you needed a euro for the trolley. You didn't. But my brain thought that it did. So I basically kicked the basket around, as you saw. Oh, and they couldn't sell me alcohol because it was after 8 p.m. <sighs> Let me tell you, if I ever had a Karen moment, it would have been then. And yet, somehow, they come out, and this view makes it all worth it. Look how beautiful. Oh, and it's nice and cool out here. I'm obsessed. My living room is a total mess. Um, I'm sure I just got tripods out there. And now I have to fit, uh, set up to film. No, something's done. Come on, brother. Why go on, kids? Oh, I'm a bit far away. Is this better? Oh, it's still a bit far away. Video is filmed. Oh, crap. See, this is what I was working with. See that? I almost walked into that. Video is filmed, it took me 35 minutes. It's now bang on midnight. And now we edit, I guess, and get this up as quick as we can. It's gonna take like well over two hours to edit. I guess I'll see you on the other side and we'll see how long it takes me to edit. <laughs> Let's do a cool transition. Okay, it is 3.15. <laughs> it is edited, it is uploaded with a thumbnail. We're good videos up. I unpacked all my clothes but I still have like all of my other stuff here to unpack. I really wanted to shower but honestly I was just way too knackered. So I'm gonna shower in the morning which is in about three hours because it's quarter to four. <laughs> Bye. Oh. Um. Good morning. Oh my gosh, I'm so tired. If you haven't visited Morocco before, you won't have seen my other travel vlogs from different places I've been in the world. So this will be the first year knowing of my vlogging style, which is chaotic. And also, I don't care what I look like. So there's a lot of shots. Yeah, okay, cool, 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 cool. There's a lot of shots of me first thing in the morning and last thing at night. Today's my second day in Rotterdam. I traveled here yesterday. Today's essentially my first day of like, going to Eurovision. I actually woke up an hour ago, but fell back asleep. I, I know what I'm like, okay, so I set alarms every five minutes. Um, so I finally got up at 8.30. I need coffee. I need to open a window in here as well, because it's really stuffy. Oh my God. Oh, on the bright side, it looks like a bloody hell. Nice day here in Rotterdam. Firstly, I'm just gonna breeze it and run away. It's so bright. Should we see what our sun looks like this morning? Whoosh. Oh, it's so pretty. The sky's all blue. Look. I'm gonna shower and then I'm gonna vlog again because obviously I'm not gonna vlog myself showering unless you watch it. I'm joking. 
If you haven't watched my travel vlogs on Milky Brew before, which you really should, I really enjoy editing them, but they take ages. I also really like making like cooking montages, so there you are, you're gonna get a cooking montage. I guess that was just a warning. Okay, I'm showered and dressed, and my hair is hopefully gonna dry in this turban. Now it's time to make some breakfast, I guess. The Wi Fi's gone again. Anyway, cooking montage time. An interview appointment with Tix, so that's today at 4.45. I hate this so passionately. You said forever now I drive alone past you. I look like a clown. Guys, we had an eyeliner travesty. Um, we had to redo the makeup, so we chose not to go with the blue. Although I'm not sure I like this one either. It seems too dark and evil. I hate these masks. I looked like a bird. <laughs> I highly suspect that I do not look cool right now. Do I look cool? No. Let's go. I'm kind of nervous, I guess. I need to get some cash as well. Netherlands is really bad with card. See if I can show you. There's a guy who comes and hoovers the stage in between every act. I think it's so funny. Look at him. Look. <laughs> the true star of the show. The true star of the show. early. It broke my heart because I'm obsessed with that staging. Um, otherwise I'm gonna miss my interview with Tix. So I am just currently waiting outside the interview room with Tix's management. So, I came down for my interview. Thank you. I came down for my interview with Tix. And I was speaking with his team. And they're so lovely. Um, but they were running a little bit late. And they had an interview that they were currently in. And they also promised their record label they would meet Alvina and Tix together. So, they're gonna go and do that, and then he's gonna call me, and I'm gonna come back. So I'm gonna go and watch Azerbaijan. So I am back from the Ahoy from the first day. It's like, I think it's half six, and I am back with quite a few more things than what I left with. So I'm gonna show you them. I received at the press center a press goodie bag. So firstly, it's this awesome tote. Eurovision tote, which I really wanted. And inside that was another tote, which is good because I needed that to uh, bring my stuff in back in. I got a freaking Taste of Rotterdam cookbook and got this. I'm like 90% sure it's a notebook. Yeah, a notebook with... painting on it. Got another notebook, Eurovision notebook. I got a little free uh, lip balm. Oh, I'm a beauty influencer now. No Eurovision lip, it's literally just like, probably is just Nivea. I got a scarf. This branding is literally all around Rotterdam, especially where the Rahoy, the, the Rahoy, the Ahoy is. And it's got lyrics on it. Loving you is a losing game. Loving you is a losing game. <laughs> and then on the other side, it says Rotterdam, make it happen. I mean, it, it's a bit, oh. It's a bit colourful for my liking, but I feel like a football fan. You know, the football fan's got this. That's what happens in England, anyway. I got a little magnet with the same design. Got loads more lyrics on there. 
we've got, I can't read them backwards, but there. And this mask, what are the lyrics? We can't wear it at Eurovision because we have to wear an N95, but it's a little cloth mask, which is so cute. Got my little water bottle, which is just super cool. And then these two are the things I haven't really looked at because they're confusing me a bit. So inside of this, there's four vouchers, one to go to the Moroccan oil press center, which is in the press center as a Moroccan oil stand and redeem a free gift valued at 150 euro. Which just doesn't seem that accurate. And three little coupons for a spin on the Moroccan oil wheel. And I think you win, can win something, I don't even know. That's epic. I saw that little charging port. I love, I actually just tried to focus it by tapping on that, jeez Louise. And you open it, <laughs> open up. And I guess you can charge it in case you want to watch it over and over again. Okay, taste of Rotterdam. Oh, it's from like all over Europe. So Ireland, Irish coffee. I mean, isn't it just, it's just coffee and, and whiskey. <gasps> Great, I can make Croatian food. What's Crini Resort? Let's have a look, 46. I can eat like my team. White wine, like it, like it. Risotto rice, also like it. Although I'm not seeing any rice. Oh. That's rice! You've made the rice black! Was it not good enough as it is? I changed my mind. I'm not having dinner yet. I'm having tea and a donut. And I'm gonna edit. Right, yeah, editing's not going that well. Um, I keep stopping. And I'm hungry now, so I'm gonna make my dinner. Seems I'm doing everything possible to procrastinate from editing because it's now 11 o'clock, I've eaten my dinner, FaceTime my parents for like an hour. Procrastination. It is now 10 to 12 p.m. Still not edited yet. My have a cup of tea. Let me tell you guys, I've never been more unproductive in my bloody life. It's 3 a.m. nearly. I literally just spent like an hour and a half on TikTok. I'm just gonna um, take my makeup off and go to bed. So I'm just gonna say goodnight now. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'm sorry it probably wasn't that exhilarating. Like, subscribe, comment, um, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook for the HEK and the website. And me. Instagram and Twitter, I'm Lauren Brown. YouTube, Milky Brew. Why have I done this to myself? TikTok is brutal. I only went on there to prove a point. Never even proved the point. I'm going to die. So.